it's fashion season, and I'd like to introduce our latest hot model, Donna. Okay, off you go, Donna, up and down. Donna is wearing an attractive lace-up boot, a top made of a strange mix of man-made fibers, jewelry, model's own. Okay, that's all. Make love to the camera. Make love to the camera. There you go, Donna. Ooh. In the middle of fashion season, London Fashion Week last week, uh, it's Milan this week, Paris next week. Uh, lots of new stars being launched, you know, urban, hmm, urban, <laughs> uh, sophisticated, sophisticated, and of course, bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be all right going out in that, wouldn't you? You'd be fine going out there, but don't get drunk and fall asleep in a hedge. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of excitement about Paris Fashion Week. I believe John Galliano will be launching his new collection. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, on the subject of fashion, I'm delighted. One of the stars of that great movie, The Devil Wears Prada, actor and director Stanley Tucci is joining us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, no, he is. Oh, no. Stanley was Oscar nominated for his role in The Lovely Bones, and he also starred with Tom Hanks in The Terminal. Yeah, uh, all about a man who was stranded at an airport for years, and he eventually fell in love with a beautiful woman who worked there. <laughs> <laughs> How Catherine Zeta Jones didn't get the Oscar for that, I don't know. <laughs> Who's robbed? Robbed! Uh, also on the show, always delighted to see her, the national treasure that is Miriam Margulies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> love Miriam. Most recently, Miriam has been playing one of the Hogwarts teachers in the Harry Potter films. Yes, now she plays the herbology teacher, Professor Sprout. I'll tell you, nobody has more experience of exotic herbs and illicit substances. Well, apart from Charlie Sheen. Uh, <laughs> Careerus, disappearus. Uh, <laughs> who, who knew Charlie was his hobby as well as his name? Now, uh, <laughs> also delighted, uh, my favourite comedian, Jimmy Carr, is on the show. Ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy currently starring in the uh, new satirical show 10 O'Clock Live over on Channel 4. Uh, hard for them to cover the, the tough subjects in, in the news, though. You know, like Libya, for instance. I mean, you know, what's funny about Colonel Gaddafi? <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's him at Benghazi Fashion Week. <laughs> uh, lovely. And there are actually suspicions that Gaddafi and his son are going to sneak out of Libya across the desert. Not sure how they'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, why am I the back? Uh, but uh, there are some good stories around this week. Uh, for example, I give you <gasps> Ashiko. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> also on the show this week. No, that'd be not <laughs> who brought a gun into training and shot the work experience boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now told, I'm now told Ashley Cole could be arrested and face criminal charges. <laughs> I wonder how Cheryl Cole feels about it.
Francis Rout is here. Guest dress of Periamos, it's Miri Mogli. Here we now. are we very are. good. Yeah. Uh, I gave uh, them a bit of a fright because I farted just before I came on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. That's why they came out with a bit of a rush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't wait to get out of there. Did, did you do? Did you, <laughs> a lesser performer would have kept that to herself. Well, <laughs> I'm really sorry about it. Well, that's that's, that's lovely. Um, <laughs> Listen, uh, <laughs> lovely to see you all. Now, especially Danny, we've, we've, never, we've never had you on the show before, Stanley. Yeah, and I'm never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy it. <laughs> yes, treasure, treasure these moments. <laughs> no, because uh, it's interesting. I'm just going to sit over here. This yeah. weekend, yeah. Yeah. this weekend, it was a like the big it. Oscars thing, and obviously Oscar nominated for Lovely Bone. Yes. So you've been through the whole razzmatazz. Yeah, through the through the ringer. Yeah. Have you been? To, have you? I should have been nominated, but I wasn't. <laughs> I, I was very angry about it. It was a, a very good film called The Age of Innocence. Oh, yes. And I was marvellous in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you said, I remember. <laughs> I was. No, it was Martin Scorsese. It was a very posh and film. And the reason that I wasn't nominated was because of Winona Ryder. And I don't like her. So I she, really... <laughs> she stole your Oscar nomination. But what happened was she was nominated as a supporting actress instead of being nominated as oh, a leading yes, actress. Right, yeah. And if she jolly well kept herself to herself and, and been a leading actress, they would have nominated me as a supporting. Ooh, that bitch. It, it, absolutely. I was, I was livid. I've heard she's very gassy as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now... <laughs> What? This year, they, oh, I can't believe that Melissa Leo, who got Best Supporting Actress, yes. should have been yours. Um, yeah. She's the one in the white there. Um, yeah. She swore at the Oscars. What did I she heard, say? I heard that. She said the the, the, yeah, F, the, F, word. the F word. No, but what I can't believe is it's yes. the first time someone swore at the Oscars in 83 years. That is surprising. Is that actually. really true? Yeah, because yeah. you think someone would swear at some point. I was actually, I, I'm sorry to talk about yeah. myself, but no, it's, no, a it's a chat yeah. show. <laughs> it's a chat show. <laughs> it's a chat show, and I haven't got anything to sell except myself. No, and, that's you know, fine. So that's the fine. best one can. How much? You so, could... <laughs> <laughs> <to> you? <laughs> Almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first person to say that word on television. Really? And it was in University Challenge. Is this true, Mary? It's absolutely <laughs> true. I know most what, people think it was Ken... I don't know what that is. What is that? It's a quiz show in which uh, uni uh, universities are pitted against each other in general knowledge questions. It's right. like Wheel of Fortune, but for grown-ups. I see. Good, good. It's incredibly hard. It's is really it? tough questions. Were you on that? Who were you competing for? Newnham College, Cambridge. And you brought shame on their name. I did. Really? I... So it would have been Margulies, Newnham College, and then... Uh, well, well, I got a question wrong, and I went... <laughs> <laughs> and they bleeped me out. So you saw my face going... <laughs> it actually came out. <laughs> did it look as if the team below were doing something untoward to you? <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, back at the Oscars, yeah, you, you, yeah. Were, you were a good friend, uh, Anne Hathaway was uh, one of the hosts. Yes, she was. Yes. With, with James Franco. Yes. Looking yes. beautiful. Look at, aren't they so lovely? Yes. They are. But now they did, I don't know how many costume changes they did. A lot, I think. Umpteen. Yeah. Uh, this one I think maybe they did too quickly. <laughs> um, <laughs> look at James Franco's face. He's mm. so like, why am I doing yeah. this? <laughs> I'm amazed his arms grown back. <laughs> It was a very good film. I liked it. I thought it was all right. The 127 hours. Yeah. It's amazing. Film. Ah, but the King's Speech. That was the film. It was. That was the film. It was. That horrid film, The Social Network. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> <laughs> hated it. Oh, but how do you really feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> That's really how I feel. Yeah. I thought they were all absolute assholes. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> little man, that man. Yeah. Very good actor. I yes. thought it was beautifully acted. Yeah. But just horrible people. You didn't want to spend any time with them. No. <laughs> well, I get your point. 
Yes. So I was thrilled when our film, The King's Speech, <laughs> <laughs> won, won everything, really. Because yeah. we'd worked so hard on it, hadn't yeah, we? Yeah. Yes. Well, and I was, I, was, I was very upset that you weren't nominated for it. <laughs> the main thing was that Winona wasn't nominated. <laughs> <laughs> Will you ever bump into her? Uh, Elton John. <laughs> Elton John, of course, had his usual uh, after-show party mm -hmm. featuring all the biggest stars in Hollywood. Um, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> now, apparently, though, uh, Katie was denied entry into the party by a couple of bouncers, by which I mean her tits got stuck in a door. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very embarrassed, but I have to ask, uh -oh. who is Katie Price? <laughs> she... Well, I'm before, I, before I explain, do you know who Katie Price is? Not really, no. She's just going along. She used to be Jordan. Uh, do you know Jordan? The River? <laughs> <laughs> she, she does look like she's rolled in a mud bed, but no. <laughs> no, she, she was a glamour model, and now she's a hugely successful businesswoman and novelist. I don't know whether that tells the whole no. story. <laughs> I don't know whether you've really nailed it. No, but it's just, but that's usually, it's usually a natural progression. No, I just wondered, because it's unusual for um, somebody who perhaps is a glamour model to be a novelist. That, that's unusual. It is unusual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have what she's having. <laughs> you already have had some of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, now listen, wow. uh, I must get on. We're doing a chat show, so uh, Stanley Tucci. Yes, what? Stanley Tucci. What? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm thrilled to you yes. because you are one of my favourite actors. Thank because you. you are good in everything. You're one of those people who just carries quality in their pockets. You're just. You're very sweet. No, seriously, you are Thank fantastic. You. Just fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. That's yes. Because the last yeah. thing I saw you yes. was a burlesque. Oh yes, with Cher, with Cher, our good friend Cher, and, and Cher did your show. She right? did. Yes. We, yes. And, oh, and Christina, she's in jail now. She's in jail. Yeah. What do you oh, mean? Oh, she got out today, or whatever day this Why is. Why was she in jail? I don't uh, know. Because she was. I don't understand. Apparently, she was That's taken sad. into jail because she was drunk in a car, but she wasn't driving. Sure. That doesn't make any sense. No, not no, Cher. Not Cher. <laughs> <laughs> Here, sorry, Christina Aguilera, who's also in the film Christina Burlesque. Christina Aguilera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's a novelist. <laughs> he's, he's called Graham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you and Cher, you it sounds like you have you really enjoyed each other. You I loved her, I loved her, I loved her. And a you great did, sense of humor. Because we would send each other kind of rude texts and things. We you? would, yeah, that's how we established our relationship. Yeah. Because you're one of those actors, it sounds like you like to have a good time at I work. Do. I do. Yeah. And you don't take it that. I mean, you do take the work seriously. No, you take the work seriously, but you can't take yourself seriously. If you take yourself seriously, it's deadly. I mean, you do that when you're young at the beginning, when you're first starting out, and then you realize, like, you'll be dead by the time you're 30 if you keep doing that. So. You just go and do your work and have a good time, don't you think? I absolutely agree. Right? Yes. Oh, no, yeah. if you want to have a good time on a film, yes. book this yes, woman. I, she's... Yes, I agree. <laughs> no, because you love to cheer up a crew, don't you? You love to cheer up the crew if they're having a bad day. Yes, because it's a team, and yeah. one must put oneself absolutely there and did part you, of it. What, what, you did the Harry Potter. How many Harry Potters did you do? I've been in two. Two. Two Harry Potters. So what's well. that like with all those people on the set? I mean, I know a lot of times you don't sort of cross each other on the set, you know. Look, Harry Potter is the same as any other film when you're doing it. Yeah. It's afterwards that you get all the adulation and fuss and right. frenzy. But when you're doing it, it's just a film. And just a film. And they're lovely people. They're lovely but, people. But you guys are all on the set together. Yes. You must have a great time together. I like Maggie Smith. Yeah. She's great. She's I didn't yeah. like um, the one that died. Um, <laughs> Richard Harris. Richard, Richard Harris. Yeah. He 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 was grumpy, but he wasn't well. So maybe that made him. Yeah. yeah. I should be kinder about it. No, it's, it's all right. It's all right. But it's nobody fine. needed cheering up on the set. When the when they needed cheering up. When I was in uh, Reds uh, with um, Warren Beatty. Yes. Now he is grumpy. He's grumpy. He really is grumpy. Really. And um, so I mooned at him. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah. 
Did that and... cheer him up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you learn, don't you, love? Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, Age, of Inno Age of Innocence, Martin Scorsese. Did you moon him? No, I didn't moon him. I did these instead. Did. Yes. <laughs> I, um, it, it was a long day, and we'd yeah. done the costume uh, parade, you uh -huh. know, at the beginning. Yeah. And they were tired and a bit yeah. listless, and so... Sorry, what are we talking about now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the crew! Oh, not the crew. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> They're never tired they or listless. No. They might list, but they don't get listless. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just flung off... Flung off my brassiere. I heard, did. I heard uh, yeah. you killed two guys. <laughs> Did them. I didn't kill them. They I died mean, with smiles on yes, their faces. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you don't do this with the children in Harry Potter, that's all right. No. no. You have to be very careful, actually, yes. with, with the children. And they made a rule that I had to give a penny, or maybe it was a pound, I can't remember really, to um, the World Wildlife Fund if oh, I swore. That's nice. And really, they did mm. very well that year. <laughs> <laughs> Whales were saved. <laughs> Jimmy Carr, you're on tour again. I'm always on tour, Graham. Essentially, I love it. Yes. Yeah, I never you are really always can't. on tour. Uh, it's Laughter Therapy, and it's going till November, this one. Yeah, till November this year, yeah. It never stops. I love it. But, like, you have a girlfriend and stuff. Do you never go on holiday? I occasionally go away, but, I mean, it's just my job. I like to, I like to work four or five nights a week, every yeah. week. It's, like, it's a proper... You know, I know it's show business and it's very glamorous and fun, but I just like working, going out there, and the idea of going out and being the centre of attention and telling jokes for two hours, what could be nicer? There's a the lovely quote about work. Work is where you are when you'd rather be somewhere else. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Oh, that's what you're very lucky, Isn't that then. Yeah. Yes, that's nice. That's a very nice thing to say. Except tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's only really the smell. <laughs> <laughs> you kill the rest of it. Everything else is lovely. But <laughs> uh, Laughter Therapy, the, the tour that's on now, you're trying out different things in it, aren't you? I'm trying to do a lot more stuff with the audience, cos I'm quite... I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with my... I'm quite, um, I just tell jokes. I mean, that's yeah. all I do. So, yeah. And two hours of jokes is a bit tiring really. Um, so what I'm trying to do is get the audience more involved. So I'm, I'm interviewing people in the... I mean, I, I covet your job. So what I'm doing as part of the show is interviewing audience members and messing around with the audience and getting them up to tell jokes and mess around. And it's much more interactive than it was. I mean, it's quite a long show. And you find so many interesting people out there. So, like, everyone's got interesting stories. You always find someone with an interesting, weird, wonderful job. So that you talk to people about jobs their jobs... Jobs or claims to fame or anything kind of, you know, fun. There'll right. be someone in with an interesting job this evening, I would have thought. Try, try it. Give so it who's, who's... Has anyone got an interesting job? Does anyone think they have an interesting... Well, what's your job? Well, hang on, we'll get a microphone to you. This is, oh, this is yeah. technology I don't bring on tour. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a colonic irrigationist. <laughs> Excellent. OK, well, well my, my first question... Fantastic. I'll pretend to be Graham for a second. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> um, what's, uh, what's the weirdest thing you found? Oh. <laughs> they, always, they find weird things. I've yeah. heard stories of, like, children's shoes and Lego and weird stuff. What's, what's the weirdest thing? Piece of chewing gum. <laughs> uh, had the flavour gone. <laughs> that's, an, so that's a very interesting job. Has anyone else got an interesting job? Any other fascinating jobs? Oh, with someone at the back there. Go on. We'll just get a phone to you. What do you do? <laughs> Well, I used, when in Waterloo Station, when the railway children was on, I was one of the kids in that. And we basically just waved to everyone, but um, it was like a proper West End thing. We had to go quite a lot to the show. So. Can I just say, we have actors already. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, because you do it, you've got very strange eating habits now. You've got rules, haven't you? Well, not rules, but I, I, I had to lose a bit of weight because I was, I was the biggest face in show business for a while. I had a big, had a big fat head on me. So really? Was, were you ever that well, fat? Yeah, I was like a little bit weighty. Well, I lost about three stone. Really? Yeah. You were so well, but fat. That's but like, <laughs> suits kind of cover it kind of quite, quite well. But, you know, I wanted to lose a bit of weight, so I stopped eating at night. That was my, my thing. I just stopped eating. But I, I do love food. I mean, I, you know, it's that thing so where So how do you do it? So what do I just you, eat so a massive lunch. You do? Just eat a exactly the same foods I would always eat, but don't eat kind of after six o'clock and it just falls off this you. This is what everybody I've says, yeah. That. But it's a great thing of, like, it makes lunch... We were like, kind of we've heard that. Right. <laughs> and actually, uh, <laughs> J Jimmy, his face is on a food stuff at the moment. Yes, I yeah, have. Yeah, this is... Oh, that's uh, right. Here <laughs> are... This is you. It's, uh, you're on crisps. Uh, Jimmy Concarni. That was... <laughs> no, that was their oh. idea. I wanted them to be called uh, Jamaica Jerk Chicken. 
that my name is Jamaica? If you, say my, if you all say my name on three in a Jamaican accent, OK? It's quite important, Jamaican accent, Jimmy Carr. One, two, three. Jimmy Carr. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Yeah. Jimmy Carr. <laughs> so this is... I should, I should say, that's, it's for comic relief. Yes, you, are, you haven't just gone into the crisp business. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> do, you, are, do you eat crisps? Sure, I'll eat anything. This is chili con carne. Jimmy con carne. Jimmy yeah. con carne. Pass them along. I've only got the one packet, I think. <laughs> I, I, I don't want one. <laughs> no, I, I don't no, like... It's for comic relief. Would you I like... I'll relief. buy it. I don't want to eat there's it. Stephen, <laughs> there's a Stephen Fry up. There's a steak and ale pie. Frank roast dinner. We're, we're in competition. You know that the idea is that we're we've all got our brand of crisps. The yeah. four of us: yeah. me, Stephen Fry, Al Murray, Frank Skinner, and whoever wins. <laughs> You're not going to win. It's a noble effort. But, yeah. <laughs> Just take a moment to point out that that man is an Oscar-nominated actor. <laughs> What he did there with the pretending he didn't like the flavour was... <laughs> it's an incredible skill, is what that is. <laughs> These are some delicious shit. <laughs> I have to move that away because it smells a little bit like Miriam's heart. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to eat it. So what happened? <laughs> It's probably best you don't have it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. So what happens... So somebody well, no, no, no. wins, now, so whoever no. sells them... You've got, to, you've got to raise a million pounds for Comic Relief, which is amazing. That's extraordinary. No, apparently not. No? <laughs> um, the, the, um, well, there's a forfeit. So there, it, uh, we all said, OK, we'll put our names on a bag of crisps. If that helps Comic Relief, great. It's a lovely charity, marvellous. And then they said, oh, it'd be nice if there was a forfeit. And we went, OK, whoever comes last, we'll do a forfeit. And then they said, well, the three people that come last, I think we have to be um, waxed. A full body wax, I think. No. Yeah. But are you... are you here suit? Yeah, reasonably, yeah. That's all right. That's fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. No, I've got, I've got pretty hairy... Le I mean, that's, that's yeah, like that pretty is, hairy. Yeah. That, that is a, a hairier hairy leg, leg than I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> No, you look like, you know one of those children's <laughs> books where you have, like, duck legs and a something body and a head of a monkey? It, yeah, they don't look like your legs. There's no insult there. OK, it's an observation. Yeah, I'm just saying. There you go. Uh, now, talking, well, of, talking of hair, yeah. uh, I, I read you in an interview saying that because you, you, cause you lost your hair quite an early age, mm -hmm. didn't you? How, how old were you? Well, I was in my, in my 20s when I really started to lose it. I mean, really right out of college, I started to lose my hair. And it kind of defined mm -hmm. the, the sort of parts? It did. People thought I was older, um, uh, not because of my maturity, but, yes, because of my hair, or lack thereof. So, yeah, I was playing, you know, 40-year-olds when I was in my late 20s. But now, because in Lovely Bones, you had... You were unrecognisable. I was saying to you earlier, right, I, yeah. I was one of those people, I was halfway through that film, and I was just going, who the hell is that? Look, how, doesn't he look incredibly different? Mm. In that, people going, yes, you're right, Graham. Yes, he does. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now, I just thought we'd, we'd try something. Yeah? Right. Okay. Uh, what we've done, the, the production team, yeah. have secreted... Oh. A bald person. Oh, secreted. Secreted. Yes. In, and I know the area. I, got I know the area, right? Yeah. And but they put a wig on them. <laughs> and we have to see if we can guess who's wearing a wig in this area. You'll see. You'll see in a minute. Okay. So. So we're. Okay. So I, I just go up here. Okay. So it's these kind of. I think it's around here. It's clearly not you. Uh, so, <laughs> well, that one for free, and not you. That what? man's wearing a wig. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to be that specific. This is our, this is our <laughs> device. <laughs> for, yeah, so, so I know you, you're probably not wearing a wig, but I just want to see this, because it will make me laugh. OK, what, what's your name? Matt. This is Matt. Hang on one second, one second. OK, so here's Matt. Is he wearing a wig? One, two, three. <laughs> Graham, yeah. when you're finished, can you put that back in my dressing room, please? <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who's wearing a wig? I'll have it, I think. Who's wearing a wig? The one with the plum shirt. Plum? This man? Yeah. OK, let me see if I can get in that far. Can you follow me? Oh, okay. there's some suspicious groans. OK, hang on. OK, okay. so, one, two, three. <laughs> Yeah. 
I'm going to do too much. If you do that again, he could be in Jedwood. <laughs> The one next to him, perhaps. The one, maybe the one next to him or okay, the other, here we go. The other guy. Oh, yeah, the one next I think him. this could be it, actually. If it's not, God. <laughs> Graham, if it's not, we can only really improve the situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Should we try you? Here we go. One, two, three. And the blonde guy, the blonde guy next to him, the next guy along. This guy? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't okay. look. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, that looks okay. like we could make a okay. difference. Okay, so... Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh, where, where? <laughs> you stuck up there. Well done, all the bloody people! Very good! Uh, and, I, and I'll tell you... <laughs> and not being... You look much better like that. You do, actually. He does. Yes. But that could have been the quality of the wig. Yeah, I think yes. so. <laughs> now, Stanley, you, you've played a huge range of, of uh, characters over the years. And, yeah. Uh, but I have noticed, of late, you do seem to have cornered the Marcus in that kind of, you know, that sort of urbane gay man. Yeah, I know. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I you know. have. Yeah. yeah. How did you discover that you were good at that? <laughs> well, that's a long story. <laughs> This feels like a conversation in yeah. the chat room. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you'll just excuse us for a moment, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, when I, you know, when I was cast in the in the Devil Wears Prada, which which I, I heard recently that that you auditioned for the role. Did yes. I did I hear you know that? How you feel about Winona Ryder? Yeah. <laughs> did you audition for that part? Yes, I did. <laughs> But I just... I just... I've spent my life preparing. I know, I know, I know. I, I think know. I had more chance of getting her role. <laughs> <laughs> but just to be... Just so you know, I was probably the last actor in Christendom that they went to. They were shooting the movie already. They had been... They had tried to cast everyone and anyone except me. And in the end... <laughs> Street had been offered the role. Right. <laughs> but 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 what what they said to me was it was between you and me. Yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> and Winona Ryder. You're gonna need a bigger show. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I don't know why. Why? You know why the uh, urbane? I don't know why. But you got that very late in the day, so you'd know. Yeah, time. they were shooting the movie already. I had three days. Yeah, to, but you're to not prepare. gay, and sometimes what? people who aren't gay are better at being gay than people who are. Sure. Right, it's a shame. <laughs> it's a shame you're not gay because you'd be so good at I it. I know. <laughs> yeah. that, but it's true, isn't no, it? No, I know what you mean. Yes, there's a certain yes. <laughs> distance. There's a distance. An objectivity. There's an objectivity. In some way. There's a perspective that maybe you wouldn't have. <laughs> I don't like playing lesbians. I am a lesbian, but I don't like playing them. Yeah. I loathe kissing women, for example, on stage or on, uh -huh. on screen. Uh -huh. Absolutely loathe it. Right. And I tell you why, and I'm quite serious. It's because I don't want them to think that I fancy them. <laughs> can you understand no, this? Yes, I can. Yeah. Well, that's exactly why I don't play lesbians on stage. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? I'm, I'm nervous of asking you this. But what... No, please don't be. OK. Because I will answer. I know, that's what, <laughs> that's, that's what makes me nervous. <laughs> What's your question, <laughs> no. OK. It, what is the story uh, about you meeting an American man in Cambridge? When I was a student? Yes. Yeah. That was before I was a lesbian. I was just... Um... <laughs> I was sorting myself out. Yes. And, um, as you do, at, at, at <laughs> university. And I was on my bike, because we, we cycled. Over the cobbles, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Dyke on a bike, and... Uh, Anyone say it. <laughs> and we stopped at the traffic lights. And I turned, I looked to the left or the right, as it, whatever it was, and there was a car, an open car, with an American soldier inside. 
and something crazy took hold of me then. You know that feeling. <laughs> I've got it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I said, would you like to follow me to my college and I'll suck you off? <laughs> You knew you recognised her from somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> I was just... Well, I was still in knee pants at the time. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, go ahead. Finish that story. <laughs> I, think we, I, think we know, I think we know what happened. Right. Yeah, right. The really interesting thing was... <laughs> he afterwards... And, and I should explain... I thought I was being a good girl <laughs> because a bad girl would have had intercourse. <laughs> With a random stranger from the street. <laughs> of course, for sure. Well, I still think it was the right thing to do. <laughs> I'm sure he felt the same way. Yeah. Well, did anyway, did after judge it was all over, he said, could I come back next week because I've got some friends here. <laughs> I'd like to be on one of your shows that will actually air. I don't think I have any stories, Graham. No, no. I don't have any stories. No. <laughs> I'm going back to chat show mode. <laughs> no. Uh, this man has just achieved the double whammy. He's had a number one single and a number one album at the same time. Nominated for seven Grammys. He's out of this world. Please welcome Bruno Mars! I want to be a We're very excited you're here. Oh, man. Uh, you are... You're so popular. Am I? Yes. <laughs> Listen to that. Uh, now, Bruno Mars, and this will surprise you that I've done this much research. Uh-oh. I hear it's not your real name. It's not my real name. It's not his real name. <laughs> they caught me. OK, that's all for tonight. <laughs> uh, so what were you? What were you called? Uh, Peter. Peter. So yeah. where did the Bruno come from? Bruno, I was a chubby baby, and there was a wrestler in my dad's day named Bruno San Martino. I don't oh, know if you're, yeah. you're familiar yeah, with Bruno? I do know. I remember that yeah. wrestler, yes. And he was a stocky guy, and I used to walk around like a little bulldog, my dad said, so he'd always call me Bruno San Martino. Mars just kind of came joking around in the studio. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Saying I'm out of this world. Yeah. <laughs> And I, well, people don't realise, they might have thought we were being stupid playing uh, Billionaire when you come on, but you, you wrote Billionaire and you, you've written loads of songs apart from... Ah, quite a few this year. Yeah. Now, call me lazy, <laughs> but isn't that a much better way to go? Just write songs for other people? You make um, the money, you don't have to do the stupid touring. You know what it is? I love that. Stupid <laughs> 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 touring now. Well, what other songs have you written? Come on, tell us, because Billionaire was a huge hit, uh, wasn't I it? I wrote Thriller, uh, Purple Rain, um, I'm just... <laughs> Man, he's going, wow, that is impressive. Yeah, Happy Birthday, that's Can we see if this... Can we see if this is a wig? <laughs> It's not a wig, but it's definitely been in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I recently did a song for CeeLo called F.U. I don't know oh if you guys heard that. Oh, my God. That was you. That's a great yeah. song. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm sorry. Yeah. You that. Yeah. Why would you... I'm obsessed with that song. Boss. Awesome. Obsessed. Thank Why you. would you give that song away, though? Because you're a singer and a solo artist. Well, Why know, would you it, it wasn't given away. We, were, we had a session uh, booked with him, and I, we started jamming, and that was the song we came up Have with. Have you heard this song? No. It's what? <laughs> it's extraordinary. I'm... This is a great song. Oh, if only we I'm had someone on here that could stuff. sing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give us a burst. I see you driving around town with a girl I love, and I'm like, Thank you. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah. Hey. Oh. How did that happen? <laughs> hey, what are you going to perform for tonight? Grenade. Oh. 
Miriam's favourite. You like that song? Oh, she loves it. I, I haven't heard it yet, but I know I love it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It's got quite dark lyrics. But it's love, it's passion. Yes. Oh, it's, but it, it's a song about love and passion called Grenade. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in this song? Don't tell them. I can't say. Yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> you, you listen to the lyrics. Uh, all right, now, you're doing a special uh, version tonight, a kind of stripped back version. Yeah, maybe. we'll do something, something yeah. special for, for, for Graham Norton. And for the lovely people. <laughs> all right, uh, you want to go and get ready over there with that. There you go. Hey, what a nice man. Yeah. 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 You see his hair? Very good. Huh? Not bad. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and of course, that track, that was just beautiful, really special. And uh, that track is on the album Doo Wops and Hooligans, right. which is available in the few remaining record shops and online. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go tonight, uh, just time for the red chair. What stories have you got to tell us? Let's find out uh, who's up first. <gasps> Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Jenna. Jenna, where are you from, Jenna? Essex. Essex, and what do you do in Essex, Jenna? Um, well, I work in London, but live in Essex. That's not an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted. What do, you, what do you do in London? Um, I work as a oh, trainee. Oh, no idea what the hell is. <laughs> I tried, I gave it, I knew it. She was just... I they were I'm not gonna... hard questions. <laughs> Graham, I'll watch this, and I'm so glad you don't have those chairs out here, because... <laughs> <laughs> we got that very lovely guest. Uh, OK, who's up next? Hello. Hiya. Oh, but I can't flip that nice thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear it. Now, what's, what's, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Judy. Judy, marvellous. And uh, are you from America, Judy? I am. Uh, I've been living here in London, but I'm from the West Coast, Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Oh, yeah. Oregon. The lovely part of the world. Yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, <laughs> OK, Judy, delight us with your tale. <laughs> Well, when I was a teenager, uh, my best friend was told she, she was too young for a boyfriend. And she didn't agree with that. So she used to ride her horse over to my house, leave the horse with me to go off riding around town, and she would go visit the boyfriend. One day I was out riding, and the horse got spooked, threw me off, ran off, and I had to go find her. And we spent hours looking for the horse because we didn't want to explain to her parents no. what happened to the horse. <laughs> Hit it! <laughs> That was a terrible story. It was really. Because <laughs> Judy, I'm not being funny. She's not that young. Surely something more interesting has happened in her life. <laughs> then our horse ran off. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, yeah. You know, yeah. your pipes right. freezing would be right. more interesting. Right. Than <laughs> Should we do we have time for one more? Yeah. Oh, the audience has spoken. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Very well. I like this woman already. Instinctively. <laughs> Me too. I'm drawn to her. Oh, there you go. What's your name? Megan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you seem lovely, Megan. Uh, okay, so, Megan, off you go with your story. Um, when I was about 16, I came home from hockey. The house was empty. Got into the shower because I was covered in mud, filthy. Hang on, Went hang on. Did they make a film about this? Because I think I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're in the shower. I'm in the shower, went into my room. I realised that the clothes that I needed were in the lounge, went running down the hall, burst into the lounge. In the interim, my brother and his five friends had come <gasps> home, and I went bursting into the lounge, completely naked, and my brother said, and this is my sister, Megan. <laughs> That's a good story. That's a good That's story. A good story. I, I was right, I have seen yeah. that movie. Yeah. 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 Megan did more. more. Contact us via our website at this very address. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you to my guests tonight, Mr. Bruno Mars, <laughs> Mary Bar, Miriam Margulies, and Sammy Tucci. <laughs> Join me next week when our guests will include uh, comedian Joe Grant, Hang of a Star Bradley Cooper, and very excited giving their first performance of our next Eurovision entry. Pop band Blue will be here. <laughs> yes. All right, contain your excitement. <laughs> Eurovision. <laughs> I look forward to it. And I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.